Welcome to GH Pujar Info YouTube channel. Subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. This experiment uh, will give the information regarding uh, magnetic field intensity, that is how to measure magnetic field intensity by deflection method. The aim of experiment is to determine the magnetic field intensity at the center and along the axis of circular coil, which is carrying current and hence find the earth's horizontal magnetic field by deflection method. To do this experiment, these are the sum of the apparatus what we require. So we need deflection magnetometer setup. So this is the deflection magnetometer setup. So this is the whole magnetometer setup. We need one rheostat. So this is the rheostat. We need one ammeter. So this is the ammeter. So we need one variable power supply. So this is the variable power supply. This is the variable power supply. And connecting wires. So these are the connecting wires. Some connecting wires. To find the magnetic field intensity of the coil at the center as well as along the axis of circular coil we are using this formula that is B is equal to mu naught Ni divided by 2 A square divided by A square plus X square to the power 3 by 2 where mu naught is the permeability of free space and uh, this value is constant and which is given as 4 pi into 10 to minus 7 Henry per meter and N is the number of turns in the coil and I is the strength of current which is flowing in the coil A is the radius of coil X is the distance along the axis of circular coil and to determine the horizontals, horizontal component of earth's magnetic field we are using this formula where BH is, BH is equal to B divided by tan theta where B is the magnetic field intensity and theta is the deflection in the magnetometer setup. So next what is the procedure to conduct this experiment? Now, so this is the power supply which is the one end of the power supply is connected to rheostat upper end. The rheostat lower end is connected to one, one, one of the terminal of the ammeter and another terminal goes to uh, one uh, terminal of the coil and other terminal of the coil, circular coil connected to the another end of the power supply. So this is the experimental uh, circuit uh, we are using in this experiment to study the magnetic field intensity at the center of coil as well as along the axis of the circular coil. So next come to the observation part. Observation part. So the first one is permeability of free space so which is constant and given the, the value is 4 pi into 10 to minus 7 Henry per meter and n a number of turns that is n is the number of turns in the coil n we can note down from the using we can note down using this so this is the uh, n value that is number of turns in this coil this is the circular coil so that uh, how many number of turns we have so that is noted here so this is the value of number of turns that is of circular coil can be calculated we can note down the value of radius of circular coil so this is the circular coil and take the meter scale and measure the value of circular coil from here to here say for example so this is the meter scale from this point to this point I, I am measuring the value of diameter it is nearly 20 it is nearly 20 and that is noted as diameter of the coil d is equal to 20 centimeter to, we to get the radius to get the radius so that is a is equal to d divided by 2 so this is equal to 20 centimeter divided by 2 so which gives 10 centimeter and convert this centimeter in terms of meter I can write the radius of coil as 0.1 meter so that is how we are calculating the radius of circular coil using this formula so next to find the magnetic field intensity at the center as well as along the axis of circular coil now the procedure how to perform that procedure next go to the table so this is the to find the magnetic field intensity at the center as well as along the axis of coil 
we can find using this table where before going to this one first we need to connect this circuit as shown in this circuit diagram ok let me connect here before going to the experimental part first we need some initial adjustment so bring this compass which is the line the line of this one exactly coincides with the zero of the that is and axis of the center of the coil so here this is the first adjustment and now we need to set up that is geographic meridian where the red point so what we indicated here in this uh, compass box has to read along the parallel of the, the circular coil so that suppose if it is like this so now it is reading in this along this direction we have to make sure that so that should be parallel to the this circular coil so i am just adjusting this one which is now parallel to the so now make sure that the this reads along the horizontal axis of the circular coil which is now parallel to the horizontal axis of the circular coil this is the first set of next make sure that in the compass box the needle of this one has to read 0 0 so next if it is not in 0 so make by turning this compass box make it uh, make it make sure that the needle has to read 0 on both sides so this is second point next okay next we can start the connection where the positive of the power supply goes to upper end of the rheostat so this is the positive of the power supply i am connecting the positive of the power supply it goes to upper end of the rheostat so next the lower end of the rheostat goes to positive of the ammeter this is the lower end of the rheostat this goes to positive of the ammeter next negative of this ammeter negative of this ammeter negative of this ammeter has to goes to one of the terminal of the circular coil so i am connecting this negative of the ammeter goes to one of the that is terminal of the circular coil and another terminal of circular coil goes to negative of the power supply so another terminal of this circular coil goes to negative of the power supply it is just series connection i just repeat connect the positive of the power supply upper end of the rheostat lower end of the rheostat connected to positive of the ammeter another end of ammeter goes to one end of the coil another end of the coil goes to negative of the power supply so this is just like series connection of the experiments what we have in this setup next after connecting so switch on the circuit switch on the circuit so next make sure the current in the ammeter now i am setting it as 0.2 amps so here the current strength should be 0.2 now it is reading as 0.17 so using the rheostat i am setting the current say for example 0.2 amps so this is the 0.2 amps once the current strength is adjusted then note on the value of magnetic field intensity so which is measured in terms of deflection as a function of distance this is the axis distance where 0 indicates it is exactly at the center of coil 0 0.05 that is 5 centimeter indicates along the axis so we can note on left side as well as right side so here we have the setup now we can note down the first reading this is the first reading at x equal to 0 what is the value of deflection that is towards the left side so we can divide this whole setup this is the right side and this is the left side so now we can note on the values of first left side then right side 
for example at this point so this is the x equal to 0 this is the x equal to 0 so now note down the value of deflection here so now for this reading the deflection reads as as nearly 79 so it is showing it as 78 or something so note on this value so here at x equal to 0 note the value of towards the left side that is 78 next to get this one that is the magnetic deflection at a distance 0 0.05 so towards the left side I am just moving this one the compass box this is the 0 this is 1 centimeter this is 1 centimeter this is 2 centimeter this is 3 centimeter 4 centimeter this is the 5 centimeter so here it is showing it as 5 we can write in terms of meters that is as 0 0.05 now at this distance again note on the value of deflection so now it is reading it as 71 point something so now write in here 71 likewise next note down the deflection at point 1 point 1 means 10 centimeter again remove this one uh, move this one's compass box so here 10 centimeter so we have this is the 10 centimeter so at this point again note on the value of needle that is where it is exactly reading again right likewise note on the deflections towards the left side for all this distance this is along the axis of the distance once if it is done once likewise if you are noting the value of all this deflection along the axis of circular coil we confirm that the deflection gradually decreases from the center to to the away from the axis that is along the axis so now if it is complete if if it is done then again move this compass box at the center again once again make sure this you know it reads now center and again at this point note on the value of theta right now so where again it reads as 70 again same thing that is 78 something next repeat the same procedure now towards the right side now so to get the right side that is 0 0.05 note the value that is by moving the compass box 0.05 so that is one second uh, one, one, one centimeter two and four centimeter likewise now set it for towards the right side that is five centimeter and note the deflection here it reads around 72 or 73 and write it here 72 or something write it here and repeat the same procedure by moving the distances that is moving the uh, compass wax at a distance 0 0.1 0 0.5 0 0.15 0 0.2 and so on note of the value so this is how theta left and theta right deflection next take these two readings to get the average value that is average can be calculated as 78 plus 78 divided by 2 you will have some value so that is the average value so theta average next to calculate the magnetic field so we can use this formula to calculate the magnetic field intensity we can use the formula as given in the formula section so which is equal to now mu naught n i divided by 2 a square divided by a square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 so this is the formula we are using where mu naught is already given in the observation so mu naught is already given in the observation and n value is number of turns 140 i is the current that is 0.2 divided by 2 and a is the radius of circular coil so this is the radius of circular coil and now x is the for the first reading x value is 0 substitute x equal to 0 a value as 0 0.1 i as 0 0.2 n is 140 mu naught is the 4 pi into 10 to minus 7 by substituting all this value we can find the value of magnetic field intensity at the center of coil that is when x equal to 0 
and then we can find the magnetic field uh, earth's horizontal magnetic field using the formula b divided by tan theta where b value is the this value what we have we calculated this value substitute here divided by tan of theta means use this value so whatever this value this is the theta value substitute here and calculate the value of earth's horizontal magnetic field using this formula and repeat the same procedure for all the readings so we can calculate the magnetic field intensity at the center as well as along the distance and also here also magnetic field earth's horizontal magnetic field at the center as well as along the axis that is how we can calculate find the values of magnetic field intensity and earth's horizontal magnetic field and the whole procedure is repeated for another current of strength 0.4 amps now how to do that again come to here here now it is showing 0.2 now increase the rheostat current strength say for example now we have to set it for 0.4 by setting this one 0.4 now repeat the whole procedure what we done for this one and repeat the same thing for the for this current by substituting the current i as 0.4 calculate the value of magnetic field intensity as well as earth's horizontal magnetic 